this place is pretty damn terrifying. I don't like being here at all. There isn't, there isn't the tiniest bit of me that wants to be here right now, Mike. I'm not really sure why you're here, to be honest. Don't think I would have come here if I was you. Probably would have tried to find Jess. <laughs> She's the one we should be worried about right now. I don't like the like howling. That's not nice. I don't feel comfortable with it at all. What's over here? What is that? Is that are those are the wolves howling or or what? This is a totem. Okay. What do we got? It's mapped by a door. Fortune totem. Again, I'm not really sure what the fortunes. Oh, like what is the fortune in that? The fact that Matt is alive? Maybe? Maybe that's after a point where he could die. But who knows, honestly. Um, I definitely don't. And <laughs> I'm scared. Also, I kind of had like a, a feeling that Josh was somehow involved with the killings. Um, even even to the extent where I thought he could be the killer because um, because he wanted revenge for his sisters or something, which seemed a little bit obvious. Um, but then he died, right? And we made him die. I, he maybe he could have lived if I didn't, you know, get him killed. Awesome. Condemned. Why wouldn't I end up in the creepiest place on planet Earth? <laughs> it is deemed unlawful for any person to use or occupy this structure forthwith. Date June twelfth, nineteen fifty four. Well, that dude's living here, and it's definitely not 1954. This is where we saw him go with his dogs. He looked at something down here. So I'm going to go ahead and guess we have to look at this. You're so dirty, Mike. <laughs> what have you been doing? Um. This is a way in? Okay. Why do we want to be in here again? We don't. We really don't. I'm not sure what Mike's trying to accomplish right now. <laughs> I guess he's trying to follow this guy because he thinks he did something to Jess. Apart from that, I have no idea. I really don't like being here though. I really don't. Nothing about this place says nice, safe, scare-free, you know? None of those words fit this place. This place seems like death and scary and all of the things I don't want, basically. This is some sort of basement that I've dropped myself into. What am I doing with this? Why am I doing this? Did we really do that for any particular reason, Mike? Or just for fun? Or, oh, another totem. <laughs> Whoop. Lost totem. Uh, potential loss of a friend. Who is that? Is that Matt? That looks like Matt getting his face smashed by someone. Oh, that was brutal. I watched it like three times, but that was brutal. That was Matt, I think, getting his face smashed in. It wasn't Mike, because it was a lost totem, which is the death of a friend, not of the character you are. So, I don't know. I don't know, Mike. I'm not sure why we're doing this, really. What is his motive for, for just coming in here? Like, what part of him just thought, you know what, I'll go in there, because that will be the best place for me to go? Why am I balancing it? Everything about this is wrong, Mike. <laughs> it's a creepy balancing act you're doing. Are we even supposed to be down here? Oh, what's this? Oh, we're climbing up into the building. Oh, 
what's up here, Mike? That's different. What's different? So I didn't know what a sanatorium was, actually. Um, and now I know. <laughs> I thought it might be like a sewage type place, you know what I mean? Like sanatorium, because obviously sanit sanitary, but that's just my not knowing. And it actually is um, like a like a hospital, kind of. It's kind of what it is. Which it makes it ten times scarier. I'm more scared of it than I was before, now that I know this. There's the dude and his wolves. What is he doing there? What are you doing, Mike? We're not going in there, surely? I'm glad it's locked, to be honest. Why did he... What is that? I need a security pass. Is that what that says? I mean, it's clearly locked, Mike. <laughs> I can see that. It says I need a security pass. This area is pretty big. Isn't it? <laughs> I'm so nervous, guys. And once again, it's very cold where I am. This is a different recording session from the last one, but it's still cold. <laughs> Update. Still cold. Still frozen. Um, just not good in general. Things are bad. Admin. Look at that. The Blackwood Pine Sanatorium. Open 1922. That's pretty much all it says, I think. in here it scares me that sometimes it takes a while to like move to the next room because what if something was in there you know this whole place just oh. is wrong no one really wanted to take a peek inside should I be doing it then Mike that was loud Mike are we okay? Are we safe? Are we gonna die, Mike? Clocking in cards. 30 clocking in cards, to be exact. A batch of 30 clocking in cards from the mine, locked away in a safe. This means there were 30 miners trapped in the mine. Oh, because they clocked in and they never never clocked out? I guess. Why was that in a safe, though? Was someone trying to hide it? I don't know. I don't know, man. There's some weird noises coming from around here. I just don't like it. What are those noises? What do the noises mean? A camera? Broken camera. Um, the lens of this camera is smashed. It looks like someone did this on purpose. And that was the clue? Oh, creepy stairs. Creepy stairs. Did he just brush something off his stomach? What was he doing? What is this? A newspaper? Old newspaper. A newspaper dated 1952 with the story about a reporter being banned from visiting a group of rescued miners. The reporter had his camera confiscated and smashed. That must be the one we found. So why wasn't he allowed to... Why wasn't he allowed to talk to them? It said we got an update on this clue. This must be the camera mentioned in the newspaper article. Someone really didn't want those pictures getting out. Why? What did they have on the pictures? Oh, I didn't mean to pause it. Sorry, guys. I'm trying to look at Mike. Um, what are your status is like right now? Nothing changed. Everything's the same. Uh, butterfly effect. Uh, and which one will die? Chris said that he would save Ashley. And I did. I guess if you say that you would save 
Josh, and then you save Ashley or something like that, or you say you'll save Ashley, but then you save Josh, then maybe you get in trouble for that, I don't know. But I said I'd save Ashley. I did save Ashley. So I'm fairly happy with that. What is this, Mike? Some kind of clipboard. Medical notes. Um, miners rescued from the mine were healthier than expected, although some had exhibited reintegration problems. Update. The report mentioned 12 miners, but there were 30 clocking in cards retrieved from the mine. There is no indication of what happened to the other 18 miners. Oh, damn. Um, if you want to read, I'll scroll through it. Feel free to pause and have a little look. I don't want to read all of it because it's long, really long. I'll probably read it when I'm editing, to be honest. <laughs> um, because it is interesting, but it's just one of those things where I don't want to, I don't want to sit through and like bore you guys with it. But if you want to read it, you can. And if you don't want to read it, then just stick with me, and, and you'll see into a world of pure imagination. And we'll just, you know, find the joy in not knowing. <laughs> Downstairs seems like the worst place to go, but do you know what, Mike? You seem like you're pretty comfortable doing that. <laughs> oh my god, where are I gonna die? Where's Jess, anyway? That's my question for the world. Where's Jess? What happened to her? I look at Bird. Oh shit. A machete? That's pretty cool. I like a machete. Can I, is it a clue? Or do I just wave it around a little bit? For no real reason. <laughs> nice. Hang on to that. Smart dude. A lot of dumb characters in things would be like, oh, I found a machete, and then just leave it, you know what I mean? Like some kind of fool. I feel like I meant to go this way, so I'm going to go this way. Because it looked like I could go back through these doors here. I can. Oh, is there going to be something creepy in here? Please no. Please no dead things. Please no death. I mean, I mean, that's pretty... What happened here? That's pretty close. Like, I... That's kind of just as scary. <laughs> a restraining chair? A chair with leather straps to restrain the patient. There's blood on it. It looks like it was used as part of a weird experiment. No, no thank you. No thank you. Mike, I think we should leave now. I think you've seen enough. I think... You know, we should go find Jess in the mines. We don't know where she is. She could be dead for all we know. I think she should be our main priority. Not whatever weird, like, little mission you've got yourself on. Oh, this is... What... How many days will they keep us here? Who? What could... Who? <laughs> who the hell would have... How many days will they keep us here? Do you think that was the miners? Because they must have gotten out of the the mines and then they were like tested on and stuff to find out what happened to them. <gasps> uh oh, I saw a shadow. Wolf, wolf, please, please don't eat me, wolf. If um if his death is getting devoured by a wolf, like I don't want to do that. I'd rather not. Reply immediately. Reporters and other snoopers to be kept away at all costs. Telegram about miners. I thought I could flip it over. Oh, updated. Uh, according to the telegram, the owners were trying to cover this up. So they were trying to cover up the danger map. A telegram warning about press interest in survivors brought to the sanatorium. The mine owners were trying to cover something up. What were they trying to cover up? Again, feel free to read this if you want to. There's not a whole lot there, but... Press snooping around this paradise. 
Yeah, you wouldn't want anyone to know about this, would you? This place. I still think it's weird that he's quite calm considering everything that's happened to him just recently. Skeleton, do you know what's going on? Can you help me? Do you know where to go? The shadow effect is really good. This is exactly where I saw the dog just walk past, so I'm pretty scared. Don't really want to be eaten. But, having said that, that's just a rat, guys. It's alright. If you said you were scared of rats in that interview with the dude, then that would be scary to you, but... Oh, this is the other room where the restraining chair is. I guess if you didn't find it before, you might go back there and see it. Um, um, no, no thank you, hand? I am not touching that. That can't be a clue. That can't be a clue, right? I don't have to touch that. If it's a clue, I want to touch it, but I, I don't think it's a clue. I don't want to touch that. I really don't. Like, to me, that just says trap, you know? It's just a box with a hand. No, no, we're not gonna. We're not gonna even think about touching that. This place just gets better and better. What is that? Strange skull? You're telling me? A disfigured human head suspended in formaldehyde. No. Can can we leave this place now? I'm still kind of confused as to why Mike would come here. Did he come here just because it was the first? Um, why are we opening these? This is bad. Oh. Oh. Mike? Mike, we should leave now. Mike, if I was you, I would leave. Okay, let's check this out. Did I need that? Hi, lady. Or man. Not sure which one you were. But, um, thanks for the card thing, I guess. Um, any more dead friends of yours in here? There's a piece of paper on this one. Do you mind if I read your piece of paper? You know what, never mind, there's no one here. I'm gonna take that as a no, you don't mind. Just gonna read your paper. Uh, death certificate. Okay. Uh, a hastily written death certificate dated 24th of February 1952. It describes the body as partially eaten. Um, feel free to read the death certificate, guys. <laughs> partially eaten. Either we're dealing with cannibals as the killers, or um, or it is like some sort of monster or animal or something. But a jigsaw's involved because Jigsaw had set up a little game for Chris, so Jigsaw's definitely around, which is weird. But whatever, we'll take it. You know, big fan of Jigsaw, love his movies. Name tag. Uh, a mortuary tag. The name on it reads Nicholas Bowen. Attack by inmate. Fatal lacerations to throat. The D had fatal lacerations to the throat. Is that, does that connect at all? Maybe not. But attack by inmate though. He was attacked by a person. The deer wasn't attacked by a person. A person wouldn't do that. The scream was kind of human though, I suppose. Wait, was there something else here? No, the glow is on the door, I think. Oh yeah, I've got the passcode key code thing <laughs> now. So I can go in here. I'll take that with me. And go through. Mike, I am scared for your life right now, I'm not gonna lie. It's, it's a weird feeling of fear, because I'm scared, but more nervous than actually 
scared, you know? Um, there's a wheelchair, but there's no actual, there's no clues or anything there. Let's go back upstairs. I guess we just go back up to the room we tried to get to in the beginning. With the, um... <laughs> Calm down, buddy! Oh, quick time events! Are they coming? I feel like they're coming. They're, they're not coming? No quick time events? That, that dog is angry though, Mike. I'm scared, Mike. If you're not scared, I am. Butterfly effect. What? That's the dude. That's the dude. Oh, I'm up here, and he's down there. <laughs> Isn't this a quaint little psycho crib? It kind of is, Mike. You're kind of right. Um, so this is the door that it came it came at me from, right? So I shouldn't go back that way. Let's see what the butterfly effect was, because I'm kind of interested. Uh, Mike got to the morgue. Mike still had a usable machete. Okay. There's the hand. I bet it was a trap. I had a feeling. I bet it was. The morgue is obviously where that hand was, because that's where all the dead bodies were. And still had a usable machete, so I wonder if I would have had to, like... I don't know. It was a trap. Maybe if I touched the hand, it would have grabbed me, and then I would have had to, like, cut the hand off or something like that. Um, to get it off me, and that would have broken my machete. I don't know. But I still have a usable machete, and apparently that is important, I would guess. Um, I, get, I mean, I guess. <laughs> it's so cool to kind of think about how it could have played out. So if I'd have touched that, would I have got grabbed, or would something else have happened? What could have happened? Right. Back in here. Yeah, back in here. But the only problem is, Mike, when you um, when you went upstairs, you locked the dog out. And now you're downstairs, the dog is probably downstairs with you. Right? That makes sense? You can understand my logic there, guys? So, what are we going to do when we find this guy, Mike? Are we just going to walk up to him and be like, um, dude, did you kill my cat? Oh! Let's not hit it. Okay. Chill out, dog. Calm down. I'm friendly. Easy, boy. Easy. You don't look as pissed anymore. Easy. Are you okay? Easy, Holy crap, I just about pooed myself. My bravery went up, my honesty went down, my charitability, I don't know what it did. It moved. I'm not sure why. <laughs> hey buddy! Can I befriend you? Shall I approach it? I kind of want to, but I feel like I'm going to get attacked. Shall I approach him to calm him down? Or is that just dumb of me? Let's go ahead and approach it. Let's hope we don't die. That's a good boy. That's right. Oh, come on, buddy. I'm just... I'm, I'm friendly. I'm friendly. Yeah, good boy. Yeah. I'm friendly, dude. Butterfly effect update. You, right? you like that? Yeah. Uh, yes, it worked. Mike's a little loving, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. You don't have to be weird about it, Mike. Everybody likes a little loving, right? But I'm glad I did that. Um... The dog looks a lot less hostile now. And that can only be a good thing, I think. This whole place reeks of creepy, though. Not gonna lie. There's nothing that looks friendly about where I am. What is this? Something over here. So, what have we here? A jacket? I'm gonna put on the dude's jacket? Really, Mike? Oh, what are you trying to reach? What's he trying to reach? You broke the dude's table. Nice. But you have a gun. 
And that's cool. That's really cool. We have a machete and a gun? Dude, I'm excited now. I'm ready now. I'm ready for everything. Mike, you're kitted out. You've got a jacket. You've got a gun. You've got a machete. You don't uh, need any. The stogie stash exposed. Yeah, he's the secret cigar smoker. A wooden cigar box. Only a single cigar is left. It has a distinctive brand label. The label is the same as the cigar box found in the sanatorium. All the clues are connecting now, guys. <laughs> um, there was a room over here, right? I want to go in here. I feel like there's going to be a lot of clues in here, actually. Fucking freak. Clippings wall. Is this guy the killer? Maybe he is. Because it seems quite, like, obvious, but then it, maybe it's too obvious. A map of the mountain with sightings and recent disappearances marked with dates. It looks like the work of an obsessive mind. Doesn't mean he's a psycho. Um, sightings of what? You know? What sightings? He could be trying to he could be someone trying to find the killer. Because sightings of what, exactly? And disappearances. That makes sense, right? He could be trying to find the killer. He doesn't have to be the killer. I'm convinced whoever this dude is isn't the killer because it's too obvious for me. Unless the game's going for that too obvious thing. What's in your box, dude? What's in the box? No jump scare, please. Oh, good. Maybe that'll keep the wolves fat and happy. Can I go and give it to the wolf? I'm gonna give it to him. Will this make us friends, wolf? If I give you this? I mean, I already, like, comforted you and you seem to like me. What about if I feed you? Will you like me even more? I hope so. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. I got you some food. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Do you like me now? Easy, boy. Are we friends? Easy. To be honest, I'm just really surprised that I approached him earlier and it was it worked out okay when approaching him with the food first seems like the smarter thing to do but obviously I didn't know the food was there let's look at the butterfly effects that have updated uh, anything going on with you Mike no find a way to open the gate oh I have to open a gate I didn't realize I had to open a gate so we found quite a few clues so far especially in here which is good Man's best friend. Mike didn't kick the wolf. Mike made a friend. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Mike has a friend now. Are there any totems around? That is the question. Because totems... I think are more important than I think they are. One thing I haven't done, I don't know if you guys want me to do it now. <laughs> maybe, but um, is look at the little movie that you can play. The Events of the Past movie. Uh, this one. There's a dude. And then there's loads of blanks because... Sometime after, the prospectors came to mine this mountain. Until a cave-in trap... Trap them. And driven mad. Driven murderers. Mad. And murderers? Murderers? Eating human flesh. Eating human flesh. Cannibals. There's cannibals moons in this game. And many hunts. Many moons and many hunts. A year ago, I was finally able to get him in. A year ago, I was finally able to get him? Are they... Maybe the miners became cannibals because they had to live down there under the ground? They became cannibals and ate each other and then they couldn't stop being cannibals and they came and, like, started eating other people? Do you think? Do I have to shoot it? Can I not open it another way? I don't really want to shoot it. But he would have the key, so I... I guess I have to. I don't feel good about that at all, though, to be honest, shooting the lock off. Because now he's going to know I'm here, right? Do you know what I just realised? We don't even know it's a he. I mean, it looked like a dude, sure. But that doesn't mean it is. Hello? He is obviously downstairs. So I'm going to look around upstairs. It's kind of just the way I'm playing the game. Like, if you know you have to go a certain way, then look around in the other places first. 
because there's clues. The Miracle Men, the successful rescue of all 12 miners trapped in the disaster. All 12, but there wasn't 12, there was 30. A framed photo of the group of miners rescued after a caving dated 1952. The plaque says that all 12 miners survived. Update, there were 30 clocking in cards from the mine. So they didn't all survive, but the company tried to make it look like they all survived, so they didn't have to, like, get into trouble for whoever didn't survive. Um, the photograph only showed 12 miners, 12 survivors, even. I'm convinced. I'm figuring this out, guys. I'm piecing this together. So there were 30 clocking in cards, but only 12 survivors. So a lot of them didn't survive. Oh, a totem. But they're trying to cover that up because they don't want to get into trouble for it. Death totem. So don't don't light a lighter. You you heard that, Mike? Don't don't light your lighter. This is new down here. What's this? That's not new. Or oh, this one? Oh, because I didn't look it in here. Did that add anything to this? I just skipped it. My bad. I don't think I have a lot for that little movie thing. I don't know if that's really important. I'm sure it explains something, so it's important for us to know. But I don't know if it's important to the game. Like, do I have to get all the totems and see that movie to actually win the game? Because <laughs> if I do, I might lose. Because I feel like I probably missed a totem or two already. By accident. Because a lot of people would, I think. Just by accident. I feel like the clues are more important to the actual game. And that is just, like, to fill you in a bit more on the background. Because the totems themselves are just, like, hints at, um, you know, what could happen if you play a certain way. Did the guy go back here? I guess he must have done. This is the only place I can go. Bearing in mind, guys, there were two wolves, okay? And we've befriended one of them. Who knows where the other one is? Is the other one with him? Maybe. Um, I don't know why I took his jacket as well. Like, oh, I found this guy's jacket. Let's just take his jacket. Of course. Locked. It doesn't make a lot of sense. But I guess why not? Why not steal a dude's jacket, right? That was loud, Mike. Okay. How many bullets do we have? Are we just going to shoot off every lock we see? <gasps> Mike, that was dumb. Mike, that was super dumb. Can you run? Mike? Mike, run. Run, Mike, run. 